In the last video, we have seen that process synchronization is required for the cooperative processes to avoid some problems which may occur if such processes are executed concurrently. Now, what are the problems? Let's see some of the problems associated with the concurrent execution of cooperative processes. Consider the same example. Let P1 be a process which performs an increment operation on one shared variable named count and let P2 be another process such that during its program execution it is performing a decrement operation on the same shared variable count. Suppose if both the processes are executed in a non-parallel fashion that is one after another. Let P1 finishes its execution first, later P2 starts its execution. So the initial value, assume that the initial value of the count is 5. Now P1 execute and P1 had done an increment operation on count, hence the value of count is now 6. Then P P1 is followed by P2. P2 is performing a decrement operation, hence the value of count becomes 5. And the value of count remains the same. Now consider the other order. Let P2 finishes its execution first followed by P1. Thus P2 is first performing a decrement operation. The initial value is again 5. Now P2 is performing a decrement operation. Thus the count becomes 4. Now P2 is followed by P1. P1 is performing an increment operation and the value of count is 5 again. Here again the value of count remains the same. So here the order of execution doesn't matter whether P1 execute first or whether P2 execute first. If they are executed in a non-parallel fashion, since one process is performing an incre increment operation and the other is performing a decrement operation, the value of count remains the same and it is the expected result or the, or the valid data. Now what if both processes are executed in the parallel fashion? We know that when converted to machine language, this increment or decrement, oper decrement consists of three sets of operations moving the value of count to a temporary register, changing the value within the register and updating the count with the value of the register and same with the decrement operation. The initial value of count is 5. Uh, suppose the process P1 got the processor first and hence P1 started the execution first. It will execute all these instructions and reaches here. It will load the register, it's a temporary register with the value of the count, hence the content of register R1 is 5. Now the register content is incremented and the value is 6. Now suppose at this point preemption takes place and P1 loads the processor. Next suppose the process P2 is having the processor, hence the process P2 started its execution. It will execute all these instructions and reaches here. It will load its temporary register with the value of count and the value of count is still 5, hence the content of register R2 is 5 and the R2 content is decremented and so it is 4. Now the process P2 will update the value of count with the value of its temporary register. Hence the value of count is 4. Then suppose that the process P2 completes its execution and again finally the process P1 got the processor again and it will resume the execution at this point. Now the process P1 will update the count with the content of its temporary register R1 and that value is 6. Then P1 complete the execution, hence the final value of the count is 6 but it should be 5, hence we have got an invalid data. This if the processes P1 and P2 are executed in parallel fashion and if the order of execution of instruction happens to be this, the value of count is 5. Now consider another order of execution. 
let p2 got the processor first and p2 started the execution first it will execute all these instructions and reaches here load the content of register r2 with the value of count that is 5 and r2 content is decremented hence the value of r2 is 4 suppose at this point preemption takes place and now the process p1 is having the processor it will start the execution and it reaches here the register r1 is loaded with the content of the variable count and the value of count is still 5 because it is not updated by the process p2 hence r1 is having the value of 5 r1 content is incremented and the process p1 update the count with the value of r1 and hence the count value is now 6 now let p1 complete the execution later the process p2 got the processor again and it will resume the execution at this point and here the value of count is updated with the value of the temporary register r2 and r2 is having the value 4 thus the final value of count is 4 thus if p1 and p2 are executed parallelly and if the order of execution is this if it happens to be this the value of count is 4 again it is not the valid data the value of count should be 5 again consider one more order suppose the interleaving of instructions took place like this p1 executed first p1 got the processor first and here r1 is loaded with the value of count 5 and the preemption takes place here now the process p2 is having the processor it will execute all these instructions and reaches here r2 is loaded with the value of count 5 then r2 is decremented the value of r2 is 4 count is updated with the value 4 and uh, let p2 complete the execution then p1 again got the processor and it will resume the execution here thus r1 is incremented but the r1 content is still 5 and uh, now the content is 6 and then the value of count is updated with the value of r1 6 so the final value of count is 6 hence when both the processes p1 and p2 are executed parallelly and when the order of execution changes the value of count changes this is one problem associated with the concurrent execution of cooperative processes and the problem occurred because both the processes are trying to access their shared item in a concurrent way they are accessing it at the same time the p1 started incrementing the variable count but before completing the execution p2 started decrement operation on the same shared variable count and this problem in which when the cooperative processes are executed in a concurrent way and when they try to access the shared item concurrently the data become inconsistent and the value of the inconsistent data dep depends upon the order of execution of instructions. This condition is called race condition. Here the final value of count is 6 when the order of execution is this. Here again it is 4 when the order of execution is this. This depending on the order of execution. The data is inconsistent and the value of inconsistent data is depending on the order of execution. This condition is called race condition. And we will be able to avoid the problem of race condition if the processes, cooperative processes are synchronized in a proper way. Here if the process P1 and P2 are properly synchronized, we will be able to avoid the problem of race condition. Now consider this example. Here the process P3 is performing a write operation on one file named file1 and P4 should read from the same shared file but only after it is been written by the process P3. Now what happens if the process P4 tries to read the file before it is written by the process P3? 
it will read invalid data thus here even the order of execution is also important p3 should perform the write operation first then only p4 should read from the file also both the processes should never try to do this operations at the same time because it will lead to something like race condition hence for that the processes p3 and p4 should be properly synchronized Finally, in this example, here the both the processes P7 and P8 need access to the printer for completing their execution and here we assumed that there is only one printer available. Now what happens if both the processes try to access the same printer at the same time? It should not be allowed. So if one of the process should be selected and should be provided access to the printer until it completes the execution no other process should be allowed to use the printer. Then when this process has finished the execution, finished the usage then the other process, the waiting process should be informed and be allowed to use the printer otherwise it will lead to starvation. So in this case the order of execution doesn't matter but the concurrent access to the printer does matter and also uh, every process should be allowed to use the printer in a proper order in a uh, one after another with, by avoiding the starvation. Hence to ensure all these there should be proper process synchronization between the process P7 and P8. Thus, these are some of the problems associated with the concurrent execution of cooperative processes as a result of which the process synchronization is required.